Matter of fact, hold on, let me fix this. <clears throat> All right. Another sign that you are probably a beta male is if you bully people when you were younger. So when you were in primary school, grades from like, you know, kindergarten till you got to high school, hell, even throughout high school, if you typically felt the need to bully others or to get gratification from those around you, then chances are those are traits of a beta male as well. If you guys watch these videos and like these, I'm gonna do Sigma male on the next, all right? So the reason why I'm trying to tell y'all beta male is so that way y'all can depict what your surrounding is. So when you out there and you at the gym or out or through the mall, you're able to be aware of certain interactions with people because if you're able to figure out what they are, chances are you'll be able to maneuver around them much more easily versus becoming emotional and letting them take you off your pedestal that you put yourself on. Because anytime a person tries to get a reaction from you or it's gratification, so they're trying to latch on to your energy vibration by getting you to react from an emotional standpoint. Okay, so this is why I'm explaining y'all all, all the benefits. So check out part one and two of this video if y'all want to get further understanding because I break it down in each video. So look, <clears throat> if you typically have the traits of a narcissist, narcissist, then typically you're a beta male. Majority beta males are narcissists, okay? Narcissist is someone that wants to be in control. Always having to be in control and that manipulates the situation to make it just look like they're just manipulate in their favor. If they manipulate it, chances are they're a beta male. It's because the truth scares certain people and the truth most likely to scare, well, no, the truth actually scares beta males the most because beta males are always in a state of fear. So if you're always operating in a state of like just plain fear, then chances are you are a beta male as well. So I would say be aware of that or be aware of those who are around you that are beta males because it can affect your growth and your mindset. <clears throat> All right. So another way of how you know you are a beta male is if girls typically just don't are not drawn to you. If if it's hard to pick up chicks, then women can sense this the most, which is why they're they exhibit the traits that they do to beta males because um you know it's uh it's just uh it's just that they can read between the lines because they're naturally intuitive but this is why beta males this is this is my next one this is why beta males will have to you know simp the term simp if you guys seen kevin samuels uh, beta males would have to simp because they're unable to get a girl from like just the natural way just by exhibiting a certain amount of energy girls will draw to you but because beta males don't have that they have to simp which means like uh feed into women's ego which will validate them and therefore they become you know big headed all right this is just to check out those around you because you know who you may run into this could be a friend this could be old like uncle or something like that who you are around affects who you become and if you're not aware of such actions then it can affect you in the long term versus you know just by bypassing it okay all right a beta male is someone that feels the need to like puff up so if you walk in and they try to like brush past you like all subtly and all you know try to do it in a slick way where they could justify their actions but still they get to lash out in a way that doesn't seem like they're the offender. typically they are beta male because they feel the need it's like it's just their their actions it explains beta all over it because they're coming out of their character real easily hell they created that scenario so therefore the beta males are typically the ones who lash out who talk really loud to get validation uh and the list goes on and on there's just so many traits which is why i split these up in so in like three different videos so uh also if a beta male has to keep uh like like say say for example he keeps trying to 
like apologize or tries to or in his head or like keep 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 bringing up something that's not talked about like you know what i'm saying like in a very apologetic form typically that is a beta as well too you 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 know those movies where where dude would like say hey i'm sorry and oh man my apologies and just keep just because i don't know something didn't go planned or they said they said the wrong thing sigma and, and alphas usually don't don't give a shit they be themselves beta are unable to be themselves so they're constantly trying to imitate something outside of themselves because they don't feel like they're worthy enough so if you find a person that's trying to like get validation or trying to you know be something that is not then typically that is a beta as well too i'm just explaining this to you because right now in the world a lot of things are coming out and it's good to be aware because you can avoid all scenarios by just flowing like water moving throughout all situations right like i was just at the parking lot right now and i'm driving and of course you know certain individuals were staring really hard just stopped stopped doing what they're doing actually they were by the door they went back to their car to lock it again after they saw me i guess they felt a state of fear uh false evidence appearing real but still i they felt fear because they went in back and waited until i passed to you know go in the gym <clears throat> And this is one of the reasons why I don't go to gyms because those are filled with betas. Gyms is like an infestation of betas now. So it's like home gym based now because it's good to have your peace of mind. It's a whole nother ball game. All right. And that's another thing. Betas always have to be around people. So they always, so they don't have to like, a, a beta is typically one you'll find at a gym surrounded by people feeling the need to uh, and grunting ah, and just get, get eyes on him, you know, get the attention. Betas are people who need attention. They need it. It's like a fiend. It's like a crack addict. You know what I'm saying? Like you ever know that crackhead that just needs this fix? It's like, ah, oh, let me get that. Yeah. That's typically a beta because they need it. It's like an addiction. It's like man a drug i'm just, i'm telling y'all next time check out a beta man you, you see bro they will need to be by you they will like need so much and it is just you know it's almost it's just interesting i won't call it anything else than that because you know i can't judge other situations because that's not who i am because i lower myself to that bar so it's not good to judge. And I'm going to do a video on that. It's not good to judge. And I'm going to tell y'all the benefits of judging. And oh, I mean, I'm going to tell y'all the benefits of not judging. Believe it or not, there's a lot of benefits to not judge people. I know you would never imagine and nobody will never tell you this because it's that much powerful. But it's a huge list of benefits to be from a state of like neutrality. So where you're not judging. And that's children. Children don't judge. I know. I'm going to shut up now. All right. So betas are people who need a lot of uh, energy because they have to they're always searching outside themselves for things validation uh compliments um searching for just you know anything searching for many things actually you know uh financial money anything that it could be they're always searching outside themselves which is traits of a beta that's like the main trait you know what i'm saying so you remember in high school where it was that one person that was always looking outside themselves like here can i get a stack of gum can i get a cheeseburger can i get your french fry that's a typically a beta <laughs> i'm just joking with y'all uh but you know what i mean you know traits of beta y'all thanks for watching the video to the end man just for you to there's just something for y'all to be aware about especially right now in 2022 all right